Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Terra Nova and today I am bringing you a very, very special part on my channel. It's part number 100 of my Sims 4 Disney's Orphanage Challenge and we have a lot planned for this part so I'm going to try and uh, move through things pretty quickly but before I even start the gameplay I want to uh, introduce you all to my special guest today. I do have a guest. There's no face cam because I'm tired and I don't want to make myself look pretty enough to do a face cam today but I do have a guest and he's going to introduce himself. If you've been on my channel for a while you've already heard him in a video but this is my boyfriend Taylor. Taylor come and say hi. Hello everyone. So there's a funny story as to why Taylor has to guest guest introduce himself on this video. Uh, basically I already tried to record this once and I was under a time constraint so I, I didn't have time to finish it that night because I came into some complications with the events of what we're going to be doing in this video and I'll bring that up in a little bit. But first... <sighs> Melody, Melody, if you've seen the last part, you know Melody finally finished her fishing skill, which means she's ready to have a birthday party today. So why not celebrate our 100th episode with another birthday party, one that has been long awaited for. So she is actually sleeping right now. It is 930 in the morning and I have the walls up. So let's put those down. Um, but we will be throwing the party today. Except Jasmine's having an issue. A missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. So keep looking for it or play with a different toy. Um, neither of those really affect what she should be doing. So, um, Taylor, what would you do? What would you advise? Uh, you should definitely keep looking for that toy. Could be important. Maybe we lost it somewhere. Keep looking. All right. So she lost some emotional control, but her responsibility increased. <laughs> Parenting 101 tips from Taylor. That, that that should be a thing. Tips from Taylor. Can we make that a series? I mean, you can try, but they wouldn't be very good tips. That would make it even better. <laughs> so anyways, what was I talking about beforehand? Oh, yes. So Kendall, it is nine. It's almost 10 in the morning. Um, Melody should be awake by now. You should get up. She stayed up all night. She passed out playing horseshoes. I don't know what her problem was, but um, everyone is just hanging out outside. Apparently, Ariel decided to make a really big campfire. Uh, Vanellope is a little uncomfortable because she's hungry, but she decided it was a better idea to go and play horseshoes. We got all of our royalties, the flea market is in town, and Merida is doing her homework. Well, I mean, if that's what you want to do when you're camping out in the woods, sweetheart, why don't you actually get dressed for the day? It is getting pretty late, and Melody is finally awake. I did not almost call her Merida. Oh, she's writing in her journal. I'm going to go ahead and let her do that. So even though Melody completed all the requirements to age up, she still is not able to move out immediately. We did all of the, um, we got all of the rewards she needed, but we don't have her aspiration points. We need her satisfaction points up to 1500. So far we have uh, 1060, so it's not enough. So we need to do what she wants to do today, and that includes getting dressed. That's what I want you to do. Let's actually have her look like a mermaid today. Yes, please. It doesn't really matter because we're going to throw a party in a few minutes here. I'd like to start the party at about uh, noon. That gives us time to get everyone situated since Aurora is still sleeping, staying true to her name. Aurora is Sleeping Beauty. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, homework complete. Jasmine finished her homework. Uh, Merida no left her ball. homework on the table. Okay. We're going to lose a bunch of homework because they're all going to leave it here. Um, I did extend the vacation another day. You guys said you wanted to explore the deep woods, have uh, Aurora meet the hermit out there, and then have Merida meet a bear. Do we have any bears around here? Should we befriend a bear? Or should we be enemies with a bear? What do you think Merida would do? Taylor, what do you think Merida would do? Oh, she'd definitely befriend a bear. She'd be friends with the bear, not enemies. Okay, all well, that makes sense. Her mom was a bear. Um, but so was Mordu, and they did not get along for the first part of the movie. Um, I don't see any bears, but I do see Eric Lewis. Eric Lewis. Taylor, honey, you don't know... You don't know our issues with Eric Lewis. He was in a different series, uh, my Four Immortal Sisters series. And basically, we reveled in the day that he finally got eaten by the cow plant. It was, it was a long time coming. <laughs> um, we have a park ranger. I don't see any bears. So we'll check back on that situation later. Um, 
Why are you, don't do your homework? Melody, you're literally going to age up and you don't need to do homework anymore. I'm gonna put that away. Why don't you come and get something to eat? And it's almost noon, so... Um, you also, you did put your mermaid tails on. Eric, why are you in our house? <laughs> he just does what he wants. Uh, come and have some cereal, and then uh, I think it is about time. Kendall, please don't talk to Eric Lewis. We don't talk to him. We shun him. Yeah, alright, whatever. Let's start our party. So, birthday party. Uh, plan a social event. Taylor, we're really good at throwing birthday parties in this series by now. Every time someone ages up from a child to a teen and a teen to a young adult, we throw a party. And as you can see, we've gotten gold in the event. That means we're really good. That means we're really good. So, we're going to throw our birthday party. And uh, we are going to make Melody a birthday uh, birthday sim. You guys, I did check. Merido is, she's only halfway through level 8 of her skill. She is not going to, there's there's no way we're, we were going to be able to have her age up in time to have her birthday today. So, not even going to worry about it. We will have some guests. I'm not going to invite Kendall as a guest. I will tell you why in a little bit. Can we invite Eric Lewis? No! <laughs> <laughs> Eric is not cool enough to sit in our party. But do you know who I do see? Mr. Baker. Uh, Mr. Baker is Kendall's boyfriend. They're lovebirds. Ooh. Well, I guess they're not boyfriend-girlfriend yet if they're lovebirds, are they? <gasps> we should make them official. They went on a really beautiful date. They had their first kiss. Mr. Baker runs the boys' orphanage just down the road from where our girls' orphanage is. So we're going to invite him. I didn't realize he was camping. And we are going to invite Pocahontas and Snow White because they are the only other past orphans that are actually camping. And unfortunately, the problem with having a birthday party at the campsite is that we can't invite Sydney. She can't just randomly join us on our, our camping trip. And we can't invite any of the other old princesses either because they're not camping. So we're not gonna have a caterer, mixologist, or entertainer. I'm not worried about that. And we're gonna have it here at our rental, the Lakeside okay. Retreat. So Jacques' uh -oh. spirit is fading away. Uh, we need a birthday cake, and Ulysses is fading away. I didn't even know they died. Uh, but everyone should be changing into their party wear. Um, Merida looks, you know, fashionable as ever. Ariel looks like a little mermaid. Um, <laughs> this is my favorite. Um, I'm just, I'm just giving a little tour so that Taylor can meet all the orphans here and see their party wear. But, uh, Vanellope looks like a little a little punk kid. I don't know. I love her. She's so rebellious. She's so rebellious. And then Aurora is still sleeping. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Um, Jasmine is in her cute little sweater dress thing. Um, yeah, I think that's everyone. Melody actually looks like a princess, except I'm not sure what's up with her expression. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I definitely got a picture of this. She is not happy. It's her birthday. She's not happy with her cereal. She's incredibly tense, and now she's happy again. All right, just keep the princess happy for one day, then she'll age up and we'll be done. But the reason I did not make Kendall uh, a guest, which is also the reason why I had to record this episode, re-record this episode, is that when you're a guest, apparently you can't come in and cook a cake. They kick you out. And then I was playing as Kendall when I was recording this the first time. She got kicked out because I tried to have her make a cake. She got warned several times, and apparently it wasn't enough. Why is everyone walking through our house? Look at it, Snow White. She's so sad. What do you think of this pop art dress, Taylor? Well, I really like that one, and all the art that's been on pretty much everyone's shirts have been phenomenal so far. So Shout well out done. to the custom content creators that I have spent hours scouring the internet to find. Like this, this Vogue top. I love this one. I love that one. All right, uh, let's uh, keep going then. Eric, I hope, I hope our four mortal, I hope Ruby comes to find you soon. We should introduce her to this side. Uh, this save file and have her take over and just hunt down all of the Eric Lewis's. Um, <laughs> Jasmine, why don't you come up here and actually just play doctor? Just, just work on your empathy. We need to eat food, tell jokes, and have Sims listen to the stereo at the same time. So let's have you come over here and listen to the alternative music. Aurora, you're super upset and you really should take care of your needs, but come and listen to the music. And just so you guys all know, her party wear is blue, her formal wear is pink. Big dress color debate. Taylor, do you know about the dress color debate about Sleeping Beauty? Uh, 
Uh, no. No, I do not. Not something I have expertise in. Is it pink or is it blue? Because in the movie, they always fight, and they, they send little spark spells to change the color of her dress midway through, and when she's dancing with the prince at the end. Uh, do you I remember that? Yes, but I haven't seen the movie Sleeping Beauty since I was about seven years old, so it has been <laughs> quite a while. All I do remember is that there's a sewing machine that she's not allowed to touch or something along those lines. Uh, could you help fill in the gaps here for me? Yes, so uh, Sleeping Beauty, uh, there's a, it's like a spinning wheel where they, you spin wool into thread. Sewing machine. Sure. No, but yeah. Uh, the whole debate is whether Aurora's actual dress color for the official Disney lineup is supposed to be blue or pink. Because in the movie, they kept changing it. And in the original artwork for the movie, I believe they showed her as having the blue dress. They changed it after Cinderella came out because they thought it would be too confusing to tell them apart because they were both blonde and in blue dresses. So official Disney canon has changed her color to pink. But I put her in both because I like the blue on her. And we don't have Cinderella in the orphanage, so it doesn't matter. Um, Jasmine. Okay, she is she's good. She's playing with her her doctor set. I actually have never sat and watched her play with this, but you need to keep playing doctor. Um, do we have... Did you make this cake? Did you make this cake? Oh my goodness, Snow White! You did this last time, too! Oh my gosh. So, Taylor... I'm making a cake because we need to make a cake and put candles on it and have our birthday sim blow out the candles. That's the biggest thing. As is tradition. Yes, but as soon as she put it down, if I didn't get those candles on it, anyone can come up and take a slice of cake. And as soon as they take one slice, you cannot put candles on it. So, as annoying as it is, Kendall now has to make a whole new cake. And this is Pocahontas, by the way. Hi, Pocahontas. She's, she's gorgeous, isn't she? I made her. She is gorgeous, though. I think she actually looks very close to Pocahontas. Anyways, um, he thought that Jasmine was Pocahontas at first when I first opened the game. But you know, it's understandable. She kind of she kinda looks like it. Just keep playing doctor, sweetheart. Um, hey, Aurora, we'd love you to join YADP. What do you think? Uh, Rapunzel wants us to join her club. Um, I don't remember what the acronym stands for. Young Adult Something Princesses. I don't remember what the D standed for, stood for, stands for. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Taylor's sitting here laughing at me because I mess up on words. It's been a long day, okay? It has been a very long day. Exactly. So, um, young adult something princesses, I am sorry, Rapunzel. I would love to join your club, but I'm pretty strict on the princess club system. And currently, we are already a part of Gen 3 princesses. So maybe Kendall is, no. No one is a part of this club that's currently in the household, so that's unfortunate. We need to have an adult make a toast. Um, come over here. Oh, you're, you're, oh darn it, we only have, no, we have another, we have another adult. All right, Ariel, come over here and get a glass of water. Get water, please. Um, Aurora, come over here and get a glass of water. You guys told me how to do this because it's really difficult to do something as simple as having a toast. Just trust me, it is. Uh, Vanellope, can we tell some jokes out here? Let's talk to Merida. Let's, uh, uh, tell her an inside joke. And then tell her a joke about teachers, because teachers are funny. Alright, Kendall, immediately put candles on those, please. Add birthday candles. It costs ten simoleons to put birthday candles on a cake, but now no one can touch us. It makes the cake invincible and obviously i made the blue confetti cake because it reminds me of the ocean and merida melody excuse me wants to be a mermaid so there you go see she took the other cake because she's a good girl all right i'm just going to let vanellope finish her jokes so we can get that little task taken care of ariel did you get your water ponder glass fullness no i wanted you to make a toast come over here and grab this but is the glass half empty or half full? <laughs> half full. <laughs> See? See? Words don't work anymore when you're on camera. Do they? <laughs> Ariel, where did you take that glass of water? Please. Oh, oh my gosh. She's got the stripes. Ariel is contagious. She's sick. She's got the tiger stripe disease. She's playful. She's probably hysterical. 
energized by story. She's giggly from illness. Uncontrollable laughs are only funny for so long. Wait, what's going on? She's sick. So what? they can have different skin things to show that they're sick. And apparently her sickness gives her stripes and makes her uncontrollably giggly. So it puts her in a playful mood. Just don't question it. <laughs> that sounds like something that's not necessarily bad for a birthday party. Yeah, for a birthday party. But if it gets bad enough, she could become hysterical and potentially die of laughter. We don't want that. All right. Oh my gosh, guys, look at Mr. Baker came. Oh, isn't he cute? I didn't actually make him, Taylor. Um, one of my... Um, one of my subscribers did and made the entire orphanage that he runs. So Aww. I don't think we're going to get this toast because you guys know how, how much of a struggle I have with that. So let's have Melody, please come over here and blow out your candles, girl. Blow out your birthday candles. Look at Snow White. She's so sweet cleaning up after us. She's so sweet. She's not even an orphan anymore and she's taking care of us. All right, can you stop listening to the radio and get up? Why is this the center hub for the party? I've never seen Sims actually gather in one room where there are all these tables and areas. They usually have like a couple of people sitting in here, a couple of people outside. They just never listen. I'd be sitting near the cake, so. Yeah, you, you'd be eating the cake. <laughs> you'd walk away with the cake. You'd be one of the Sims that would frustrate me because you ate the cake before I could even get the candles on it. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right. There she is, our birthday girl blowing out her candles. All right, Melody aged up. And of course, as always, I didn't think about what traits to give her. So, uh, we do have her as an outdoor enthusiast. Outdoor enthusiasts want to experience everything nature has to offer. For Melody, that means becoming a mermaid and exploring the sea. Taylor hasn't. Taylor has seen all of the movies for the princesses in the orphanage currently, except The Little Mermaid 2. So, it's basically the reverse of Little Mermaid. It's, 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 it's the little human. Who wants to be a mermaid? <laughs> a little human. <laughs> exactly. So she automatically has the collector trait, which is very fitting because she likes to collect seashells and all things she finds in the sea. Uh, she is a loner because she gets very embarrassed by social rejection, which is basically Melody to a T. And, of course, she loves the outdoors. What else should she be? We could be cheerful, gloomy, a goofball, creative, genius, self-assured, active because she loves swimming. Maybe. Uh, unflirty, hot-headed, romantic. We also have all of these tabs. So perfectionist, bookworm, art lover, geek, foodie, music lover, um, vegetarian, dance machine, neat. I feel like we almost have to do vegetarian because then they wouldn't be able to eat anything with fish because fish are friends, not food. Fish are friends, not food. It's so let's be a vegetarian and be friends to your fish. Okay. <laughs> Funny thing is we went into a pet store today to get cat food and we genuinely did look at fish. Did not buy. Just looked. We window shopped. Definitely want a fish, though. I just don't want to be able... I don't want to be the one responsible for cleaning the tank all the time. But uh, if we were to get a fish, Taylor, what would you name it? Well, that depends on the type of fish. I mean, I'd have to see this fish, know it for a while, see how it swims around before I can adequately name it. I can't just come up with a name off the top of my head like that fish will be named tim nope not how i work <laughs> have to get to know your fish get to know your fish because they are your friends and not your food that can be tip number one from taylor's tips that you mentioned earlier exactly number one know your fish know your fish number two don't eat the fish um snow has sent melody a gift we get birthday presents now what Pocahontas sent Melody a gift too. Cool. Do you know what I wish we still had? Kind of, but not really at all. Um, what's it called to me all? I wish we still had Imaginary Friends. This was in The Sims 3. And if you don't remember the Imaginary Friends, you're missing out. Um, basically, when it, it came with Sims 3 Generations, and uh, when a child was born, a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle could send them a special gift in the mail. It wasn't always guaranteed, but, you know, they had a chance, and they'd send them this little stuffed doll. It was their imaginary friend. And it was really cute. You could name it different things. As you grew up, you could play with it more, do different things with it. And if you had... Why are you two fighting? Merida. Why are you so inspired? Vanellope, why are you so upset? 
Are you both hot-headed? Aggravated conversation. Merida is hot-headed. She probably started it. To be fair, she's gonna go have a time out in the toilet. Um, what was I saying? Um, it was... Oh, I can't remember. I was very enthusiastic about the conversation and I completely <laughs> forgot. Hold on, we'll just have to backtrack. So we started with Fisher friends, not food. A fish named Tim. Oh, geez, where were we? Yeah, their argument came out of nowhere and just threw the whole thing off. Oh, imaginary friends. Perfect, thank you. Um, that happens a lot when I'm recording. I just forget what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, the imaginary friends, as you had more of a friendly relationship with the stuffed animal, it became real. Only to the person who it belonged to, though. So, if I clicked on Vanellope and she had an imaginary friend, you'd see it walking around, probably mopping up a puddle. For some reason, they like to mop up puddles. Whatever. But if I clicked on Jasmine, we'd see the, the toy just sitting on the floor over here. It was, it was weird. I mean, they were fun. But when you have a household full of six kids, it's annoying. Because they're always walking around everywhere and getting in people's way and, and routing issues and everything. But, uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to get a gold on this. We need to play a game with the birthday sim. We have games upstairs. We have a card table. Who wants to play cards? Jasmine, why don't you come over here and play cards with our birthday sim? Where is she? Melody. There we go. And Snow White and Pocahontas. Kendall, let's say hi to Mr. Baker. Let's come and talk to him. Uh, why don't we talk about our dreams and how we dream about all of these girls aging up and moving out so we don't have to deal with them anymore because we love them and we want to see them be happy and successful adults in the world, right? Um, share some cooking secrets and ask him about his day. See how he's doing with his little vacation, which we just happen to be taking at the same time to the same granite balls. Same and our birthday was pitiful. Actually. Pitiful? Second place isn't that bad. Silver medal, second place? I'll take a second place birthday. It's only because I couldn't figure out how to toast, and I literally have a sticky note here. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. It says, um... Maybe I don't have a sticky note over here. Never mind. I, I know to toast, though, you have to have an adult have a glass of water, have someone else have a glass of water, and then they have the option, apparently, but I just... Can't figure it out. Why do we have a puddle on the floor, though? Did someone pee their pants? It's a likely possibility. There's no other source for the water. Nothing was broken. Is that something that can actually happen in The Sims? Someone will just wet themselves? Yes, and it leaves a puddle. And you can play in the puddle. Just like you can play in the trash. Wow, this game has options I would not take in real life. <laughs> yep, it was it was Ariel. She peed self. Oh, goodness. Uh, you had an accident from holding it in far too long. How embarrassing. Yeah, Ariel, when you're a, a human, you can't just pee yourself all the time. I'm very concerned. Aurora, why are you over here? You're very energized. I'm, I'm very concerned with these very things. Uh, very playful. That's one step away from hysterical, and that's potential for death. Let's be friendly to Kendall. That's what you want to do. Um, friendly compliment her outfit. Um, Melody, where are you? What are we doing here, honey? Oh my gosh, she's already so tired. She should just go to bed. And then tomorrow we can focus on getting her aspiration points up. Because there's no way we're going to do it tonight. Actually, we might be able to. Let's listen to a different station. She wants to listen to S-Pop. Let's change it and listen. And then what else can we do? She wants to go fishing for an hour. There's no way we're going to get that done in this. There's no way we're going to get her aspiration points done. So Ariel and Melody will be in one final episode after this. We'll go to the deep woods with them, all that stuff. And then when we get back from our camping trip, then we'll move them both out and have the new set of sisters move in to the orphanage and if you want to have an input on who moves in you know besides the set of sisters there is a poll in the drop down box of my video where it's a straw poll so it's a link to a poll and you can go to look at who's got the tiger stripe so now it's nah, she's just getting everyone sick but anyways you can follow this link to the poll and vote on who you want to see enter the orphanage can i give my input of who i think the next princess should be who do you think Nala from the Lion King. The Lion King is my all-time 
favorite Disney movie, and Nala is on my list. And there might be several other characters from that movie on my list as well. <laughs> Ooh. So it's going to be interesting because when I first added Nala to the list, I was thinking about how I could portray her as a sim, like a human sim. But oh, no, 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 no. I mean an actual lion that's just walking around named Nala. Can you do that for me? Actually, now we have pets, and I could make a very large cat, and I could do it. All right, so I know what we're doing for episode 101. No. <laughs> no, but that'd be really interesting. We should make her. So you guys give me your input down below. You know, if and when Nala ever enters the orphanage, do you want her to be as a person? Or should we make her special as a cat? Just let me know. Let me know because that would open up a whole new world of opportunities for characters. A whole new world. <gasps> curfew. Oh, everyone's out past curfew. That's where their phones are ringing. <laughs> Homework is complete. Sydney, stop it. You're not even here. You're back home. Sydney and Kendall are sisters. They run the orphanage together. Oh. Exactly. I'm learning so much today. Exactly. But uh, it is almost 9 p.m. now. Our party was okay. Um, Melody is going to be going to sleep here pretty soon. She should go to bed now. But what I think I'm going to do is just end this part here. I mean, we don't really need to see all the girls taking care of their needs. No one is really going to make any progress on any of their aspirations or skills or traits that they need to work on right now anyways so i'm going to end this part here i really do hope you guys enjoyed it um please answer all of our questions leave your comments down below leave your questions down below and uh, check out that straw poll also go ahead and check me out over on twitch and twitter twitch i do a lot of behind the scenes sim design especially the makeovers for this series so if you want a sneak peek about who will be moving moving in after ariel and melody uh, we'll be making them together over on twitch Twitch. And if you want some announcements on when videos Way go live or when I'm streaming on Sheedy. Twitch, check me out on Twitter. I'm Terranova Plays, all one word on all Overroy. platforms. And I want to give a big thank you and shout out to Taylor for sitting through this entire video with me because I was supposed to have this recorded before he came over today. Rishu. And with all of the issues Wapita. I was having when I was supposed Rishu. to record it and having to re-record uh, it, he's been a real trooper. Sheedy. And... Uh, yeah been very understanding <laughs> it's what i'm here for dear exactly <laughs> so uh, thank you all so much and uh like i said i hope you really enjoyed this video um give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and please leave your comments below as i always say because it really does it, it really makes this challenge how much you guys give me feedback and i hope you are as excited as i am to see what the next hundred episodes will bring because Let's be honest, we're probably going to have at least 100 more because this series is never going to end. But anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Terranova, and I hope you guys all have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye, guys.